It is Saturday, just short of noon. I'm standing on the banks of the Ohio River. Jeannie's back at the hotel resting. And I'm going to shortly walk across the street into the park and attend the Galley Academy High School all-class reunion. And there's Dick and Greta Caldwell paying their respects to the old Doughboy statue. Greg is a member of my class, and Dick of the class preceding mine. Almighty God, how we do thank you for the gift of life, the gift of friends, the gift of a place that we can call home. We thank you, Lord, for this day, for all who have gathered here, all who uh, call Gallia Academy a part of their um, lives. We ask, Lord, that you bless those who are here, bless those who cannot be here, bless those who have gone before, those who are presently part of our school district, and those who are to come. We all are in your gratitude, Lord. Uh, we thank you so much for uh, the gift of this place. And now, Lord, bless our food. Bless all who uh, partake of it, as well as those who prepared it. Keep us safe. Keep us in your grace. Hold us in your heart forever, as we love you and love each other. Bless us one and all. In Jesus' name, amen. This is my old buddy Jack Mink. I used to work at Kyger Creek Power Plant with him. He used to give me a ride when I was in college. That would be the uh, about 1958. 58. Yep. I used to car. Didn't we ride? We rode together. Elmer Valentine. I met Leo Valentine. I remember playing on the softball team with you guys. Fast pits scared the living daylights out of me. I remember I was sitting on the bench and I was I was giving the other pitcher a hard time. Jack, I was giving the other pitcher a hard time, like I knew what I was doing, and he threw a fastball. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Don't you worry about it. Would you like to make me? Anyway, Jack, he threw a fastball, knocked me down. I thought I didn't say a word for the next five days, next five innings. What would you like? Oh, it's a good day. And in the background is Jim Caldwell, good friend. Yeah, he's here. Just a few years more advanced, more senior than me. More experience serving up food uh, Harry Burnett from last night well Dave Duncan made it with his lovely wife Joan hard to pick out in a crowd Dave that is
that is Bob Evans. Uh, Bob Evans sausage. And that is Bob Evans of Bob Evans sausage. And I assume that's Jewel, but I'm yes. not sure. Uh, when I was a high school and college age uh, fellow here, Rainbow Rocky ran a place called the Grand Cafe, a, uh, a cafe on Second Avenue. 1957, he sold out and started this this hot dog business. And you can see it's very popular. I'm going to go see if I can get a couple and take back to the motel and see if Jeannie's up for eating one of Ramos hot dogs for lunch.